Urban Street Brewing Company, where I met managing partner Alex Carballo. Welcome to Urban Street Brewing Company. We're in El Cajon, California, right in the heart of downtown uh, El Cajon. We've been here for approximately about a year. We love being here. It's exactly what we expected. The growth potential, the expansion potential, and the embrace from the city has been tremendous. At Urban Street Brewing Company, we're a coal-fired pizza joint. So when you think of that, you're like, what is that exactly? So this is something based off in Connecticut, New Haven style pizza, which is kind of thin crust. Everything about it is exactly done the way New Haven style. So even the architecture, the way the feel, the wood, the steel, the way it looks in the windows, all that. If you were to kind of walk around in uh, downtown Connecticut and some of these old urban areas, that's kind of the feel. Although we have several locations in San Diego, from downtown all the way to Vista, uh, we do have the pleasure of brewing our own beer in this facility. Well, I was feeling it. So I headed to the back to try their beer and meet their brewer, Callaway Ryan, who's been at it a while now and looked more like a chemist. I'm figuring out how much the sugar, the yeast is already eaten through. Once it's done and it's uh, finished converting all the sugar into alcohol, then I'll chill it and transfer it over. Degassing the samples, um, when there's CO2 in solution, which this yeast are producing, um, you won't get a true gravity reading. This will tell us how far the uh, conversion of the sugar into alcohol has gone by, uh, by way of the yeast. Seems there's a bit more to making a good beer than I realized, and Callaway's got it down. I'll pour you some of our brown now. Okay. So, what's the great thing about the brown? Uh, I love it. It goes great with pretty much any kind of food. Um, it's got some good malt flavor, but it's not overly sweet. Well, how long does it take? Is this any different brewing-wise back there? Um, there's a lot more different kinds of malts in this one, mm -hmm. so it's just kind of more of a pain to keep up with everything that you're milling while you're doing that. Mm -hmm. Other than that, it's, it's just another beer. Good seller? Uh, it's my favorite. <laughs> my favorite, too. Really good. Along with good beer, Chef de Cuisine Aaron May is putting together some seriously tasty food. What we have here is our urban coal-fired barbecue chicken pizza with bacon, of course, because everything tastes better with bacon. And it has our Urban Street Brown uh, barbecue sauce, something we make in-house, quite delicious, usually a kid to adult favorite. And then we come to our most famous pie here, mashed potato bacon pie. As we said earlier, you kind of watched it being made. It's got the thin crust, mashed potatoes, the Calabra cheese, bacon, and it's got the, also as well fresh mozzarella cheese. I'm telling you, most people think it sounds funky when you say mashed potato pie. You have the bite, it's all over, man. It's a, it's a, you're a fan and you're gonna bring everybody in just for that. No, when you come to Urban Street Brewing Company, there is a definite must you must have. We know the pizzas are great. There's one other thing we do really well. That's our urban coal-fired wings. We got a, almost a two-day Thai marinade on them. They're slow roasted first, then they're flash fried, and then finished in the, our coal-fired oven. Quite delicious, and if you ask anybody's opinion, they're probably some of the best in town. Next, restaurant manager Oshin Bridgman shared some other options. So another thing that we do that people are not really aware that we do, which I think is really cool, we do some sandwiches for lunch, but people can't always eat a large pizza. Our pizzas are quite big. So uh, we do it like a small pizza for lunch, which comes with, accompanied with a salad. It's very reasonably priced. And then you can also have a calzone if you like, which is something unique. It's not available on the dinner menu. So lunch is definitely worth checking out. Agree, and don't forget dessert. This is some uh, vanilla gelato. Yeah. It's our house-made chocolate sauce, house-made caramel. Topped with walnut brittle. Awesome. I think what I like best about this place is everyone loves what they're doing. I love the business. I love the hospitality fact of it. I love when people take a sip of beer and you see their eyes light up or they take a bite of food and they're like, wow, that was fantastic. That's what makes the day. Urban Street Brewing Company.